Well, recently with the wheat crop, all we've been talking about is the drought situation, but it's also the time of year we should be looking at diseases. And here to help us address that topic is Bob Hunger, our extension uh, wheat pathologist. Bob, how is the drought affecting the, uh, the disease situation this year? Well, the, the drought certainly is affecting the, the diseases in wheat that we're seeing this year. Uh, most people see the effects on wheat, of course, but don't realize how critical that moisture is to the spread and infection of different pathogens in wheat. And uh, uh, because of the lack of moisture, we have a few diseases around, but not very many of them. Okay, so that's, I guess, kind of a, a small blessing in, in its own way. Um, yeah, a very small one though, yeah. because uh, without the moisture to have a good wheat crop, you're you're not <laughs> right. You're not, you, we can not do some other things anyhow. for the diseases, but you have to have the moisture. Have you got a few examples of things that we are seeing this year? We can take a look at. Yeah, uh, of course. Uh, in previous sunups, I think uh, Dr. Jeff Edwards has talked about barley yellow dwarf, and you can see some of that out in the field. Quite a few places. A lot of that came from uh, aphids that were infecting last fall, but. Uh, in a few places around Stillwater, we have seen some of the diseases that are a bit more typical. And one of those is powdery mildew. All right. And uh, uh, this was a, a variety that was planted uh, real early. And if you look down into here, into the, the canopy, you can see on some of these lower uh, leaves, the uh, furry white growth that's just covering some of these leaves. And this is a, a disease called uh, powdery mildew. It's caused by a fungus that uh, usually starts pretty early in the season on those lower leaves and then spreads up uh, as the season progresses. Now, is this one that will kill the crop off, or what, is it, what effect does it have on the, on the wheat? Well, in Oklahoma, when there's uh, plenty of moisture and the, the plants are growing and, and rather healthy, it uh, will have some effect on them, uh, but not as, as severe as we're seeing this year because between the, the drought and a little bit of barley yellow dwarf in there and then the powdery mildew, you do get some spots like this that are dying out probably from a combination of all of those. If you look closely down in here, you can see oh, where yeah. the powdery, powdery mildew was growing on the leaves. And uh, that certainly is, is adding to these little dead spots that we're seeing around here. Now over here we have some leaf rust. Yeah, and then of course leaf rust, uh, Leaf rust is the disease that typically this time of year we would very much be looking for in the fields because uh, uh, it does re certainly require free moisture on the leaves, which we haven't had much of. But in this plot here, a variety that is quite susceptible to leaf rust, you can see on some of these leaves there are a lot of rust pustules that have formed on the leaf. Uh, the thing is, these kind of spots of leaf rust will then tend to spread leaf rust not only within this but in uh, adjoining wheat okay. and in adjoining wheat fields but there's just not very many of these spots of leaf rust around now because it has been so dry. Now, I know this this year a lot of producers aren't going to be too worried about this with the shape <coughs> the crops in already but if a producer does want to treat do we have anything to help them sort out the options? Oh yeah, uh, certainly uh, if, they, if they did choose to grow a susceptible variety, which there are several of those out there, uh, fungicides would be what they would be looking at now. And uh, the extension, through the extension service, there's a very good publication, it's uh, current report, uh, CR uh, 7668, which uh, talks about fungicides, how to apply them, the options, uh, which ones are available, so on and so forth. And uh, Currently, the, the prices for fungicides are down uh, considerably over most years, but unfortunately this year it doesn't look like there's going to be the uh, disease pressure, and I say unfortunately because that often means then that we're in a drought situation. Uh, so the use of a fungicide this year would have to be looked at rather closely. Right, in order to justify it economically. Correct. All yeah. right. If you'd like to copy of that publication, you'll find it on the SUNUP website under our links tab at sunup.okstate.edu.